Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to the Cash Show Puzzler to the third and final installment of my puzzling declutter. So in February we are moving and it's really exciting for us. I'm excited to move to Washington, but we are downsizing. And as I mentioned before in my previous two videos, we are not doing the physical move ourselves. Movers come in, they pack everything, they put it in storage, and then we're in temporary housing for a few months. So because of that, there are some puzzles that I'm putting in a pile that's for that transition. I'm only bringing like about a box of puzzles with me. The rest will be put in storage and I just don't want to store things that I will never see me doing again. And I'm trying to just be a little bit more mindful of the puzzles that are coming into my collection. Puzzles that I'm excited to do. Like when I was doing my puzzle shelves, I was just so excited for a lot of the puzzles that I was keeping. I was excited for videos that were coming and brands that I've been wanting to do, but they've just been like hidden within my collection. So I really just want to weed through a lot of the puzzles that I'm just never going to do or just don't have time to do or don't see a video in the future. This is the third place that I store my puzzles, which is the closet inside my puzzle room. I feel like I'm going to get rid of like half of these because there are a lot of them I have done. They have been on my to-do list for ages and I just don't see me doing them. Or they're puzzles that maybe I thrifted and then maybe it just wasn't a good idea. It's just like a whole bunch of reasons why I've been keeping these and just storing them. But I would much rather give them another home and a, another place where they can actually be done. So before we get into the decluttering, let's go over the puzzle that I'm giving away for this video, which is the Pintu Nook of Cafe Shop. Like, look at that one. It is so fun. And I actually have already done my second Pintu puzzle already. Absolutely love them. I have a whole review that I did earlier this season and you go check that out. Super cool concept. They're plastic pieces and they have a lot of areas that they are sold. They're sold like pretty much worldwide. So super cool. Love it. And this is the one being given away today. So make sure to do all the things down below, like follow them, like me, all the things to get as many entries because... It's such a cool idea and I've been loving their stuff so far. So that's the puzzle being given away, but let's just get into the puzzles that I'm getting rid of. Uh, we'll start at the bottom. We have this one here, which I've been wanting to do for ages and I really am excited to do. It's the 500 piece National Parks puzzle. This one would be fun while we're on a trip. Uh, the puzzle pieces look so nice. Ooh, do I want to put it? I'm also doing a 12 hour puzzle challenge and trying to do puzzles for the end of the year. I might put it in that pile. I only have space for like three for that video or just in general. Yeah, I'll put it in that pile because I do want to do it by the end of the year, but I don't necessarily need to keep it afterwards. We have this one, which I got as a gift, which, oh, look at that one. This is by Rose Art, and I love the colors of this one. My mother-in-law got that for me. The next puzzle I have here is by Springbok. It's called Colorful Fruit. I have already done it. I don't see me redoing it. It's fine. It's chunky pieces. It's just one that I don't see me doing again in the future. We have another Springbok, which is Coca-Cola. We'll keep it. I did thrift this one. I feel like I don't have space. Uh, we have a pomegranate puzzle, which is called The Quest of Knowledge, which I really did enjoy. I don't see me redoing it, so that one can find a new home. We have a bunch from Braintree Puzzles, which I did talk about at the very beginning of the year. I did purchase these puzzles. I'm just, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about the brand as a whole. I love the price point. I love the extra goodies inside. I just don't know about their licensing and their artistry. I feel like some of them are knockoffs. It's been a whole thing earlier this year. I just haven't felt comfortable doing them again. So I think I'm going to part ways with all of them even though they're super cool puzzles I just don't they just don't sit right with me and so I'm going to part ways with them moving upwards we have two from White Mountain and I did purchase these from them and I do I would love to do them someday because they're cute images so I will keep them we have two from Aduka one is I love this color scheme so much. I, I don't know what it is about me and black and white puzzles. I did one recently too that was black and white and I just like the idea of it. It has just like a little pop of color. Love the image. I think maybe it's because I do photography like this where I'll do I'll take a picture, make it black and white, and then like pick one item that's the focal point. I just like doing that so maybe that's why I like doing the puzzles as well. Um, I also have this one which I did at the puzzle convention. I I'm torn 
And part of it's just like sentimental reasons, but I think I'd much rather keep the 500 piece than keep this one. So this one can go and I'll keep the 500 piece one, which is up here. We have this Piatnik puzzle. You just don't see me doing. It's fun, it's bright and colorful. I've had it for close to two years and I just haven't had the itch to do it. So this one can find its new home. We have dashing all the way, which I did and I loved. I just don't see me redoing, so that one can go. We have, I love this one, the Villainous Puzzle by Ravensburger. It's the Prince John puzzle. It's fun. Again, I just don't see me redoing it. So this one can go. I actually have a whole video on that one and loved it. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so much space. Look at that. Uh, we have this one here, which I have not done yet, but it's super fun. It's called Antique Maps, and it's by Go Games. So I'll keep that one. I want to do it sometime. We have the Gibson's Wonderful World. I just don't see me doing it again, so I'm going to pass that along. I have a whole video on it, and it was fun. I just don't need to keep it. This one I will keep. This is the Aduka 500 piece one that I did at the puzzle convention. And we won fourth place, fifth place, fourth place. I don't remember. We placed. And so I'm keeping it. Uh, we have this one by Elena Essex. And I'm not sure if I'd redo it again, but I loved it so much I kind of just want to keep it because I loved it. So we'll keep that. And then we have my antelope puzzles. Ooh. I think I'm gonna keep them for now. Um, they're all right here. I have a whole dedicated video on them. There's five of them. You know what, the one that I won't keep, this is the one that just, I don't see me redoing again. The other thousand piece ones though, maybe. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, which is called, hmm. This one is called Eternal Butterflies and a Spotless Mind. It was fun, I just don't see me redoing it, so that one can go. The other four though, the thousand piece ones, I will keep. Moving on upwards, we have a ton up here. So we have my 3D cubic fun train. This is awful, Mr. Ward. This can go. I got rid of the buildings as well. I just don't have a need to keep them. I will keep the pirate ship. Hopefully it will ship okay. Um, the train though can go. Although maybe I'll keep the, oh, it might've just broke. Never mind. they can go. <laughs> We have a bits and pieces. Oh, this is the 500 piece one that I did for Halloween. I don't see me redoing it, but it was fun. I liked it. We have a Vermont Christmas, we have a Vermont Christmas puzzle, which was a Halloween one, actually. Again, I liked it. I don't see me redoing it, but it was a fun image. We have this one, which I will keep. It's just, I love the image for some reason. It's not my normal style, but for some reason, I like it, so I'm going to keep it. We have a 500 piece by Ravensburger. I've already done it. I don't see me redoing it. It's just called Just Desserts. And I got it at a puzzle swap, so I don't feel too bad about parting ways with it. We have, oh my gosh, Fred. I am doing another Fred puzzle. I would love to do this one in the future. It's called Galaxy Cat, which, is it upside down? It is, but it's just... Fun and quirky, and I love it. So I will do it sometime. We have this one. It's a Harry Potter puzzle. Um, I just don't see me doing it, so this one can go. All right, we got, uh, I'll do this one last. We have Artsy Cats, which I don't see me redoing. It's by Mud Puppy. It was fun. I like doing it. I just don't see me redoing it. So that one can go. We have, oh, I'd love to do this someday. I got it at a thrift store and it is a Ravensburger mystery puzzle. So I'm going to keep that one just because I like the concept. And then we have this stack over here, which I will keep all of them. We have this one that will be a part of my Around the World series from D Toys. We have this one, which I love from Haya. It's in beautiful colors. And then I have two from a brand that does not have good reviews, but I will try it, which is from, it's from the, the brand Page Publications. And it, they have really cool images, but I've heard they had horrible quality. So we'll test that one out eventually. Um, I just can't believe how much space I have right now. Oh 
my goodness, this is awesome. Okay, <laughs> moving on over here, we have all of my New York Puzzle Company puzzles. I am doing a whole separate video about New York Puzzle Company, about all the puzzles that I've done, tips and tricks about shopping them, finding images that you like, and we will do that one this season. So I'm not going to go into too much depth about these, but I will tell you which ones I'm keeping, which ones I'm getting rid of. Oh, I forgot about these. We have these guys, which are little mini puzzles. Maybe I'll just add these to future giveaways, so I'll do that. We have the sunset one, definitely will do in the future. Super cute. I have this one, which I've done, and I would love to frame and do it again, but not really. So I don't think I'll keep this one, but I'll keep it for the video for now. We have this one, which is a thousand pieces. Again, I don't think I'll keep it. I did it, it was fun. I just don't need to redo it so that one can find a new home. We have this one, which is called Sunset Cruise. Definitely different and a little bit more intricate than I normally do. I think I'll keep it and do it in the future. We have one of the National Geographic's one, which is so fun and bright. I will definitely do this one in the future. I love that it's only 500 pieces. One of my favorite puzzles of all time. We'll definitely do it again. And I think it's one of their discontinued ones, but it's called Mr. Fly. And it's one of my favorites. It's so quirky. I love it. And we'll do it again. This one, I don't see me redoing, so we'll pass along, but it's called Tiger's Bride. It's fun. It has more inter interesting whimsy pieces. And it, there's a lot of white, but it's doable. So I liked it, but I don't need to keep it. We have this one, which is from Janet Hill. Not my favorite of theirs, to be honest. I'll talk about it more in that video. I won't keep it, but I did it, and it ended up being a cool image. It was just, it was just interesting. Um, we have the sunset one called Beach Bound. Another one, again, I enjoyed. I don't need to keep it, but it was super fun to do. And then finally, we have this one here, which is called Rooftop Relaxation. Love the colors, love this one. Um, but don't, again, see me redoing it. So that one can find its own space. And then finally, we have just a couple items here. I will keep my antique one from Springbok. Would love to do it in the future. I don't, I don't, hmm. I might bring that one with us just because I'd be nervous of it not transporting well. So that one I think will go with us. We have an Aduka one. I don't think I'll keep it. I, I'm doing a future video on them, but I don't necessarily need to keep the puzzle because I have pictures and such of it already. So this one can go. And then finally, we have this Falcon puzzle. Super cute. Have a whole video on it already. Don't see me redoing it, so that one can go as well. Oh my goodness. That feels so good. Um, there's so much space on this shelving right now. There's nothing outside the shelving. There's space over there on my puzzle shelves that I could probably actually put all of this over there and have this one be completely empty. This feels incredible. And I'm excited for it. Like I'm looking at all these puzzles and I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Love it. Excited to do. Would love to do a video on it. Like it's just so much excitement. And that's what I'm excited about. So I'm ex the pile here, I'll show you in just a second. It is crazy. Um, I think there's over 25 puzzles that I'm getting rid of. In total for this whole declutter, I'm getting rid of over 75 puzzles, which just feels incredible to make this space, make room for future things, but just be excited about the things that I already have. So I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be such a great thing to just purge all the things that I'm not going to do again. Thank you so much for tuning into this mini series. Again, make sure to do the, the giveaway stuff down below. And that's it for me. Thanks so much. Bye.